Hey, 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 welcome and welcome back to my channel. I took a quick trip to Detroit and I did not get to see the inside of the Motown Museum, but this was the outside of it. I mainly ate at a bunch of different places. First stop was Cornbread. This was a black owned restaurant. I started off with a drink and it was okay. Nothing to brag about. Sorry, I don't remember what the drink was called and it's not online, so I can't look it up. The cornbread was actually pretty good though. We went on a Saturday around 8 p.m. and we were able to be seated right away. I love the decor of the whole restaurant. It was like an ode to black history and I really, really loved that. I did try another drink and I wasn't impressed with that one either. Can't remember the name of that one either. I did have chicken and waffles and that was really good. I had the sides of mac and cheese and collard greens and I enjoyed that as well. This was an order of catfish with rice and beans and green beans. That was pretty good. I was able to taste that. They had fried okra, rib tips, more collard greens, and this was called a bad and bougie combination. So it was a lobster tail with rib tips and some yams. Everything was really good. I definitely enjoyed this restaurant. Service was great. Definitely would recommend it. Definitely would go back. Next up, I stopped at Sky Hibachi and Sushi Bar. So this place did have a bachi, not the one where they cook it in front of you. They cooked it in the back in the kitchen, but it was empty when I went. It was around 10 o'clock on a Sunday, I believe. And it started you off with a salad. I had steak and shrimp, and this was the portion. It was huge. It was absolutely ginormous, and it was very, very good. I enjoyed it. You know I had to hit up a brunch spot, so We've Got Brunch was the first brunch spot that I went to. They are closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so I did go on a Monday. There was eight of us, and it was pretty empty, and they didn't allow us to sit together. They actually separated us to two different tables, so I didn't really like that. But everything else was pretty good. This was a mimosa flight, so I had four different flavors of mimosas. The decor of the restaurant was really nice, very Instagrammable. You see, this was the empty table that they could have set, well, eight of us at, and I'm not sure why they didn't, but whatever. Anyway, I did enjoy my time there and I did enjoy the food, so let's get into that. Of course, they had a chicken and waffle option. I didn't taste it, but it looked very good. This was the steak and eggs. This was a T-bone steak and egg dinner, and that looked amazing. I opted for the mini shrimp and grits. It was a mini, but it was plenty of food. My mom opted for the fish and grits. Both were very good. We've Got Brunch also happens to be another black owned restaurant. Again, I did stop by the outside of the Motown Museum. It is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, so keep that in mind. They did have music playing outside of it, so my mother enjoyed the little time that we were there. It really looks like a cool place. I would definitely go back to visit that. I did stop at Full Throttle Adrenaline Park. I went on a Monday night. Again, it was pretty empty. There was just so many things to do. The first thing that we did do was bumper cars and we had a raceway that was almost all to ourselves, And that was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I did it with my son. And we were able to go around the course for six minutes about three or four times so that was really enjoyable we then did a vr game as well as an arcade game so it was like a package we paid i think 89 dollars to do everything in the package so it was pretty cool before going to the hotel that night i did try to stop at a place called gillies it was a sports bar type of environment but you do have to be 21 and up. My son is only 18. And they definitely carted us at the door so we weren't able to go inside. Looked like a cute spot though. Shahrazad was the last spot that I went to before leaving Detroit. I went there for brunch. It was an Arabian restaurant and it was so dope inside. Very beautiful. This was the bread that they gave us with some garlic paste and it was so good. They had all types of Arabian food on the menu, but they also had an American menu. So this was an omelet with some hash browns. This was some fruity pebble French toast. I also had a toasted almond French toast ordered and everything was really enjoyable, really tasty. And the service was great. I thought this spot was so cute for a group brunch. Definitely put it on your list. 
So that is it for the stops that I made in Detroit. I hope that you found some value in this video. And if you did, I hope that you would take some time to like and subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell so you could be notified every time I post a video. Hope to see you again soon.